Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. As you can see, we're out and about today. We are in Barrowcliff in the play area and I'm with councillor Bill Chat and his grandson Alex. Now Bill, why are we here today? Well actually Barry, this is uh, a part of the year where we've got to do our AGM. We could do a nice quiet AGM in a back room but we thought well what was the point of that when we could combine it with a bit of an event so what we've done we've got together with Scarborough Borough Council to offer some sporting opportunities for the children in the area to come and try a bit of sport because at the end of the day this is what this is all about it's getting kids more active our AGM will be held at 12 o'clock which will be unfortunately the boring side of it so we'll be sat in a room doing that but there's no reason why the children couldn't have a good day so what we decided is that we'd try and make sure that as many children as possible could get here have a go at sport, because some of these children have never had a go at sport, and it'd be really good for them to try that. And then, obviously, we can do our business later on, which means that we don't have to bore the children, we can just get on with that. So, a sports day? Yes. Um, Scarborough Council's uh, sports team, uh, uh, as people in Scarborough will know, have been going around doing different sports all over the place. What we thought is that we could engage with them to try and bring more families into the area to try these different sports. You know, we know all about the sports of football and rugby and cricket, but there's many, many different sports out there what you can play outside. It's not just all about kicking a ball around. Some of it is about volleyball, some of it's about netball, some of it, there's, there's a lot of things what you can do. And we just want to give our children the opportunity to do that. And what a great park this is as well, because all the kids come here, they play, there's been no vandalism, they enjoy themselves, the mum and dads know that they're safe. Well, th th to be honest, this park is the best thing what, what the big local has done for, in, in my books. Um, the children have appreciated this park, the parents have appreciated the park. We're, even over the winter time, children are still on this park, and I mean, if you look round now, it's still in really good condition. There's been no vandalism whatsoever. We made a budget of £5,000 a year to actually maintain the park, and this year we, we spent £1,000. So we underspent by £1,000, and that's because people appreciate it, they're looking after it. This is part of their community, and they are really, really seeing this as a massive step forward for the estate itself. And the AGM, my goodness, it just feels like yesterday when we were here with the last AGM. Yeah, and, and the group has actually grown. It's got, we're, we're now moving out from, you know, obviously parks. We're looking at different things like uh, supporting people into jobs. So if you live on Barrowcliff and you think, you know, there is a qualification what I want, we are going to do a survey. So if there's a food health hygiene certificate or maybe a, a, a care certificate, what you need, we, we will be asking people what they want. And then we might be able to provide that training for you and actually pay for it. Bill, as always, great things are taking place on Barrowcliff. And as always, it's great to see you, Barry, because you, you and your team have, have, have recorded our uh, events really well. And, and I think the people of Barrowcliff appreciate the fact it's not just all rumours now. You know, the, the park's being delivered, the different things are being delivered, and people are seeing a real positive impact on the area. And that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, before all this happened, you know, people used to say, if you live on Barrowcliff, you're basically at the end of the world. Now they're saying that being on Barrowcliff is a great advantage, you know what I mean? Children are feeling the benefit, families are feeling the benefit, and as far as I'm concerned, that's what the big local was intended for. That's what we are delivering. We're now being joined by Jackie and Sam. Now, Jackie, what's your position here? I'm a community sports activator for Scarborough Borough Council, and we were approached to do a sports day for the Barrowcliff residents as part of the big local um, consultation to draw people in and hopefully help to get residents out and, and activated. So how did you do that? We've put a programme of sports together. We started with netball and we've got rounders, quick cricket, um, walking football and we're going to do an outdoor keep fit session as well. So we're hoping to have families engage in these sports to improve their fitness and be social at the same time. Do you find you've had a big uptake in people wanting to be fit? The, net, the netball's going quite successfully at the moment. We've got adults and children joining in, so I hope the rest of the day is the same. Yeah, I hope we get more, but <laughs> it's a good start. Good. Mm -hmm. And Sam, what's your position in all this? I'm here today to um, publicise my football team. Um, we um, have a, currently have an under 11s football team running the Scarborough Minor League. Um, most of our assistants are Barrowcliff based, and we're looking for the next season to expand and run three teams um, 
my role here today is just basically we're taking part within the sport with Jackie and to publicise the team and get some more kids involved playing within the sport. Sam and Jackie, thank you very much indeed for having thank a you. chat. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Barry Robinson out and about in Barrowcliff for Scarborough TV News.